so now let's look at one of Firepotter's most powerful capabilities. That's the ability to zoom in on particular data to filter out other traffic so we can see the specific information we're looking for. So to look at this feature, let's bring up Fireplotter and let's pause Fireplotter uh, that is currently recording so we've got a single snapshot that we can have an explore of. Now in the background, of course, Fireplotter is continuing to record the session data passing through this firewall, but we've now paused this uh, session table at this particular focus time. We can see the time is rolling on, real time is rolling on. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, see what we've got here. We uh, can see in the session table 10 of 163 sessions. And we can see those 10 sessions because we are in basic view mode that just lists some of the standard protocols like HTTP email, secure HTTP, and so on. So what I'm going to do so we can see all 163 sessions is I'm going to right click on the session table and go into advanced view mode. So now we can see all of the sessions that are listed in this firewall, 163 out of 163. Now, in order to understand the zoom and filtering capability, what I want to draw your attention to is that if we have a session table that is showing us data and there is one session like this HTTPS session then Fireplotter can display in a single line all of the information relating to this session so in this particular session we have an outbound session it's HTTPS it's going from this source IP address and this source port to this destination address but because at the moment Fireplotter is summarizing by service and destination port, so it's summarizing by this column, basically it is telling us that for syslog it's got four sessions, for HTTP it's got three sessions, for HTTPS it's got one session. And of course where there's more than one session, that means that we are, there is a lot more information about that particular traffic in the line. So if we take, for example, this syslog, at the moment we can see that there's four sessions and they're going to the same destination IP address but there are multiple values in here. The three dots here means this is a multiple value field and what we want to do is we want to find out what those IP addresses or those source IP addresses are for that traffic. So in a moment I'm going to double click on the three dots so we can drill down and see that information. And what I want you to notice is that when I do double click is that we're going to create a filter and the filter is going to put, it'll be looking at inbound direction. We're going to make syslog port 514 the, the service destination port. We're going to make source IP uh, an asterisk because that's the information we want. And destination IP will be set to this IP address. So let's double click on that now and see what we get. OK. So now we have the filter set. We only want to see inbound data, source IP sorry service port is 514 any source IP and only to this destination IP address and so now we can see those sessions listed here in the column and also because we actually had to, to click on something that's in the source IP address column we've now summarized by source IP so there is one line for each of these now if I wanted to look at this data in more detail these sessions that we can see these four syslog sessions which one was creating the most in bytes per second at this snapshot if I cl click the column I can reorder that column and now we can see that it was this particular session that had the well actually these first two sessions had a similar amount of traffic in terms of in bytes per second so we can use Fireplotter to drill down to create these filters to see the data we want. If I right click again and go back to default table view, you can see the filters have been reset. We're now seeing everything. And we might choose to drill down some more. So let's um, let's reorder the traffic. Let's see what's got the most sessions going through because we're, we're, we're sorted by service destination port, which has the most of those sessions. And in this case, it's SNMP that is creating the majority of those sessions. And if we wanted to find out more about the source IPs, right in that, I can double click there. And we can see that the source IPs are going here. And in fact, they're going to these destination IPs. 
we right click again back to default table view I'll show you another aspect of the zoom feature that's very useful when we have a, a a session of traffic, a line of traffic where there's only one session, one of the things we can do is we can double click on an IP address. So this is not a multi value field, we're now focusing only on this IP address. And if I double click now on this IP address, what's going to happen is we're going to create a filter that basically sets this IP address as the source IP address and shows us any other traffic relating to that. So I'm going to double click on this 68.1 address and now we can see all of the traffic that is related to this source IP address. So we've got a number of different uh, services running from this particular IP address that is generating traffic. If we wanted to see which one had the most cumulative invites, we could reorder the column and we can see that it is this particular session of traffic that is in this source board that's generating most of that traffic. So you can see that, if we go back to default table view, so you can see you can use the zoom feature of Fireplotter very powerfully to drill down to see other information. Now, just to end this section, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and go back into basic view mode. So we're just summarizing the key protocols. And of course, whilst I've been talking in the background, real time has been passing. Well, in the foreground real time has been passing but we had frozen the session table at 17.04 and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press play again because we pressed pause at the beginning of this section of the presentation and what you can see is that Fireplotter will very quickly catch up with real time showing what the session tables were that have just gone past the building the graph as we do that so let's just do that now and there we go you can see time moving along the graph at the bottom you can see we're moving towards the focus time is moving towards real time. Flashes of red were showing the emails coming in. And there we are. We're just about synchronized up now. Excellent. Okay.